Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I'm out at my granny camper and I have to admit it's been far colder and more humid than I had expected. One of the things you have to deal with in an RV or a trailer is controlling the humidity. Humidity should ideally be between 30 and 50 percent. Well, how do you know what the humidity is? I bought an AccuRite hydrometer which measures not only the temperature but the humidity and it keeps track of it over a period of time so it tells you what was the highest and what was the lowest temperature and humidity within my travel trailer you can see that it even has what looks like a little house and it's reading right now that the humidity in here is high when you get high humidity you have to deal with problems from condensation. Condensation can get on the windows, on the window panes, on any metal surfaces where it's cold and then the condensation turns into water vapor just like it makes it into a cloud. It's developing clouds and then you have raindrops inside your RV. That condensation or moisture then can create mold rot and rust and can actually destroy your property, your RV, or whatever you're having a problem with condensation. If you're having moisture within your home or your RV, you need to have a way to measure it so that you actually know what the humidity is because you want to be able to control it and then avoid any of those kind of problems. So once I had the hydrometer which measures the humidity, now I need to deal with the humidity. Well, how did I do that? I bought a dehumidifier and it's electric. It plugs in. You need to figure out the size of your space so that you know how big of a dehumidifier to get. I tried using a small one, but it collected so much humidity I had to keep dumping it out all the time. Because I know from using the hydrometer that the humidity is going to be bad here, then I went ahead and bought a larger size. I can plug it in and try to remedy the humidity problem in my granny camper or my travel trailer. Another thing, if you don't have electricity, is I also found some dehumidifier moisture absorbers. And these are awesome because they're a compact size. All of the components are within it. It has a window on the front that measures orange when it's dry and green when it's full. These you can reuse over and over again because they have a flip out plug and you can plug them in to an outlet and then they will dry out and you can continue to use them and they can work for years. I bought them in two different sizes because I wanted to scatter them around within the cabinets in the RV. I want to make sure that I don't get humidity in my cabinet where my clothes are, in the cabinets where my food is, and just in the general areas. When the doors are closed in your cabinets, it's colder in there and humidity can become a problem in the back of your cabinets when you're not even aware of it. So I bought these to put into the cabinets. Anywhere that you have a cabinet that you can feel the cold air on the back wall, you may have a humidity problem in the very cold weather and it would be the reverse if you live in a humid place in the summertime. What's nice about these is they don't have to be plugged into work but then after you've used them you can plug them in and recharge them and they're ready to use again and so far they've worked very well maybe you've seen even at the Dollar Tree they have a product called Damp Rid or moisture absorbing packets those are one time use only after they have been filled up then you need to dispose of them and replace them always make sure you use those within their plastic container because the contents can actually be poisonous to children and small animals Ventilation is also a great way to get rid of humidity. Maybe you can open your window a crack. Maybe you can open your vents. Maybe you can push the door open for a little while if it's not too cold outside. Anything that you can get the air flowing again. Get the air flowing and that helps move the air around and it can help dry up the moisture. Just like on a windy day, it dries up any rain that came the day before. You can do your cooking outside, that can really help, or use your fan and make sure you cover your pots when you're heating things up so that you're not adding to the condensation without meaning to. Whenever you're using your shower, make sure that you keep the vent open. Then a problem I found in my travel trailer is the floor is extremely cold, especially on the slide. It's like there's nothing underneath but the little piece of wood and the carpet and so it's extremely cold 
coming up from the floor. I need to get some additional insulation layers on the floor and an easy way to do that is to add some throw rugs that then when they get dirty you can take them and wash them. Pay attention to the humidity in your RV or your travel trailer so that you don't end up having problems from condensation, from rot, rust, and mold. Nobody wants to have to deal with that. That can destroy your vehicle and we want to make sure that we protect our investment so that we have it in the best shape that it's in to enjoy it as we had planned in the first place. Leave a comment below on any tips and tricks and solutions you found to deal with humidity and condensation in your RV or travel trailer. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.